Hi, welcome to today's videos. Um, my name is Michael Schmeitzer. I'm a lecturer at the Department of Horticultural Science at the University of Stellenbosch. And today's video is really about introducing the, what horticulture is to you, uh, who we are as a department, and uh, what can you do with a horticulture degree, and in particular, uh, what are you going to learn in those four years that it takes to do a horticulture degree? So I suppose the real first question to answer is what is horticulture, what is horticultural science, and in a nutshell, horticulture is about producing plants or plant products such as fruit and flowers, and the term horticulture is really, it's quite a big field. As you can see in this diagram, there are many horticulture components that all fit under this umbrella term called horticulture, but all of these components have to do with some plant-related product, and it is always related to something that you are trying to make money with or sell. So, in for example, you have flower production, fruit production, um, over here you have vegetables, even turf grass, so that's your cricket pitches and your rugby pitches. How do you start them? How do you maintain those grasses? Uh, what types of grasses do you use and who produces those grasses, etc.? cetera? Um, even production of mushrooms, et cetera, et cetera. So it's quite a big field. And you can imagine that um, as a single department, we can't cover all of these components uh, because we would make you a jack of all trades and master of none. Um, so our department focuses on really two big groupings or two big components that are really important in South Africa in terms of export, in terms of um, earning money and in particular job opportunities for you. And the two that we focus on within our department are the production of flowers, in particular cut flowers, as well as fruit. Now, what are we trying to achieve uh, after this or with this degree that you that you're going to embark on and we want to turn you into professional horticulturists and a professional horticulturist in terms of cut flower and fruit production is someone that manages those plants to be able to produce fruit or flowers in very high quantities of very high quality year after year. And so there are three little aspects in that little paragraph that I've got here. Firstly, you want high quantities. You don't want 10 apples. You want a whole lot of apples that you can actually sell. But a very important aspect is that it doesn't help to have a lot of apples or cut flowers that are of low quality because there's very strict market standards um, that we need to adhere to. If the quality is too low, you won't be able to sell your fruit or flowers. Um, so you need to be able as a horticulturist, as a professional, um, be able to achieve that. How do I get high quantities with very high quality? And then the third R part of that is that this needs to occur year after year. And that is where the difficulty sometimes lies is because you can you know, manage to get it right for one year, but you need to do this year after year to make it economically viable. Now, for every single crop that you can think of, every fruit type, every cut flower, but also vegetables, etc., cetera, um, there is a certain production chain. And that is what this image is trying to, to show. So this entire chain from starting from here, from the uh, flowering, and I'm just using fruit as an example, but it could be a rose or uh, lettuce. Um, there is the part that we call pre-harvest, so that is while the product that you're trying to sell is still a growing and still attached to the plant. So that would be the pre-harvest part of the production chain. And then we have something that we call that starts over here. Once your crop has been harvested and is no longer growing or attached to the plant, this would be uh, what we call the post-harvest part of the production chain. And so the pre-harvest is, you know, you, you're, going to, you're going to teach you about irrigation, fertilization, how do you prune these plants, how do you train them. If you've ever been in an orchard, you can see that the, the way those trees grow don't look normal and that being trained, there's horticulturists deciding what is the best tree shape to get the best quality and the best quantity. Um, and then a really interesting field is also the post-harvest. So that means that we need to ensure, and I'm going to use apple as an example again, that if I pick an apple this morning on the farm, and I want to sell that apple in Germany. It's going to take me about two and a half to three weeks for that apple to get from my farm to the shop where the consumer will eventually buy it. And I need to make sure that the apple that I've picked there two weeks ago has the same quality or that quality is maintained until it reaches the market. And that's where post harvest is really interesting because it involves a lot of technologies. Um, there's stuff like refrigeration, shipping, plane versus flying your crop versus shipping. Um, there's packaging materials, etc. And you'll be looking at all of those aspects. And so it's important to think of every single fruit type or flower type um, that you have this 
pre-harvest and post-harvest aspect. And of course, that means there will be professional horticulturists that work in the pre-harvest side and some that are working the post-harvest side and sometimes there is a, a mixing between both these fields but you as a horticulturist after your 40 year degree will be aware of the entire production chain now i want to explain something in terms of your, your degrees that we some that's something that we call a modular teaching approach and maybe to explain it is just this slide it's just showing a couple of fruit types a couple of cut flowers and this list is very very small i put it in just to make it look a bit fancy but also just to highlight just the diversity of the fruit um, that that exists and it wouldn't make sense to try and teach you how to produce each and every single fruit um, because we just end up giving you recipes and that is really not what we're trying to do because you would be limited in what fruit you could work on so instead our whole degree is designed to give you principles an understanding that allows you to move from one fruit type to another without any issues. So even though you got trained in, say, uh, pears, you can work on apples, you can work on blueberries because it's the same grouping of fruit. And that to us has been a real big benefit because it means you're not tied to a specific crop. You are able to move between crops, which of course enhances your employability and your job opportunity uh, tremendously. So these are the groupings of fruits that we are working on in our department and that we, you, you will be lectured on. Uh, so the one grouping is deciduous fruit. So those are the ones that lose their leaves in winter, the plants or trees that lose their leaves in winter or, or bushes sometimes. So it would be apples, pears, um, plums, blueberries. Then we have this evergreen um, group and we use citrus as a model uh, plant. Uh, very exciting, we got getting in subtropical uh, module as well, so you learn about production of subtropical fruit, and then a very separate category is in the cut flowers. So the implication of this grouping, of this modular approach, as I said, and I, but I just want to mention again because that, that makes it so um, strong and exciting doing this degree, is that you will be able to work on any of these crops. So if you understand the deciduous group, how they respond to temperature, how they respond to watering regimes, you can quite easily hop over between different types of crops. So in terms of the degree itself, um, you'll be doing many more modules than this. I just picked out the ones that are very uh, plant specific to horticulture, just to give you an indication of what you will be involved in. And uh, so in the first year, you will be doing the basic biology plant morphology that looks um, or just make sure that you understand the, the plant structure. You need to understand the structure of something before you can understand the inner workings of it. So that's just to make sure that everybody's on the same page and knows what the plant and plant parts look like. In the second year, a very exciting module which we call the plant propagation, and that refers to how do we make more plants. You can imagine that we don't just have 100 apple trees, we've got probably 100 million apple trees and who makes those trees and who makes sure that those trees are all alike and that the apple a granny smith will always look like a granny smith so that's the second year module which is quite nice in the third year you can see those groupings that i've mentioned the deciduous fruit citrus uh flowers you will also do a vegetable production um as well as a subtropical um part and it there it becomes a bit more crop specific in terms of those groupings and you will be introduced into the industry remember that all of these are industry based and those that is the industry that you will be working in one day um so you will third year is a lot of practical aspects with developmental biology um and introducing the industry to you and then the fourth year um there we do a slight little flip you've learned the practical aspects um, say you've learned how we prune an apple tree or pear tree. In the fourth year, we look at physiology. So that's the functioning of the plant. And so that we tr will try to explain, well, in the third year, you learn, you learn how to prune. But in the fourth year, we'll learn about, well, if I cut a tree there and I, or I remove a branch here, how does the tree respond and why does it respond in a certain way? And the fourth year to us is crucial because that is your understanding and your principles. So if you understand how a deciduous tree responds to pruning, again, the, the fact that you understand the inner functioning, it allows you to move over between all those different crop types. Um, this is the same slide as the previous one, just in Afrikaans. Uh, you could pause your video here if you want to have a quick look at the Afrikaans terminology. So this is a bit of a summary of what I've said up to now. So we have this modular approach, deciduous, evergreen, cut flowers, and subtropical fruit. We're going to have this modular approach with a very strong physiological basis. In other words, you we want to make sure that you understand the functioning of the plant and how it responds to the production techniques that we actually use. 
Um, so we don't want to give you recipes. We want you to have a solid understanding of the functioning, which then gives you those job opportunities in any crop type. And at the risk of repeating myself, because that to me is really what it's all about. At the end of the day, you want to walk out with a degree that is recognized, not just South Africa, but worldwide, but that you have all these job opportunities open to you. In terms of the uh, opportunities themselves, I've just made a list, but I really encourage you to um, maybe Google it a bit further in terms of job opportunity horticulture. Um, if you would like more information, you're welcome to contact me. Um, I think they will probably have some contact details um, available. Um, otherwise, you can also just contact the faculty and they can pass you on to me. Uh, but the, in terms of job opportunities, quality managers, in other words, people that make, ensure the quality of the uh, flowers, of the fruit that it adheres to those uh, stipulated by the external market. You become involved in exporter. Technical consultants are quite um, at a very high high position in the sense that it's you you go out to farms to consult farmers on how to produce the fruit so you're not a farming yourself but you are the technical advisor uh, the other options are chemical control experts researchers entrepreneurs and so on and so forth so here again i may just want to highlight we have this post harvest consultant so he's a guy that that looks at the logistics of that cold harvest chain in other words when the when the crop has been picked and how that travels through to the market. So that's quite an interesting and exciting one. You become nursery and manager or even just a farm manager if you want to. So all these options are open to you. Um, so I kind of want to end up with this and at, at the risk of repeating myself is what is the advantage of being able to work with so many different crops? It really means that you have a lot of different, different job opportunities. So if you forget everything else that I've said in this video, this is what the crux is uh, because the opportunities are really, really big. That said, I would like to thank you for your time and your attention and um, good luck with your choices.